Good afternoon. Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Get Started with Talk EHR telehealth webinar. This webinar was designed for providers who want to start using telehealth in their practice today. Just so you know, the audio and video uh, for this presentation work through your computer screen and speakers. So if your video and audio is not working properly, a link to the recorded presentation will be sent to you via email, as well as posted online after the webinar concludes. First of all, before we jump in, you should see a hand icon in your GoToMeeting control panel. It should look something like this. If you can click that hand icon, just to let me know you can see my screen and you can hear my voice, I would greatly appreciate that just to make sure we're all on the same page. All right, thank you. Let me just repeat that quickly. Perfect, I'm seeing lots of hands, so we must be good. All right, thank you everyone. Just wanna make sure our audio is working properly, perfect. Also, just so you know, by default, everybody's lines are muted. However, if you have questions throughout the webinar, go ahead and type your questions in the question area. It should look something like this. It's just a text box that you can type into. There are quite a few people on this webinar, so if we don't get to all of your questions, we will be taking questions at the end, but if we don't get to all of your questions, we will be creating a question and answer document or we'll reach out to you directly if needed. All right, let me scoot that out of the way. My name is Christy Maddox. I'm an education specialist with MTBC. Our presenters for today's session are Shruti Patel, who is the president of the telehealth division of MTBC, and Al Nardi, who is the senior vice president of strategic initiatives. So that being said, let's go, at, let's go ahead and get started with the webinar. I'll go ahead and turn it over to you, Shruti. Perfect, thanks, Christy. And thanks everyone for taking some time for joining today. As we all know, we're going through an unprecedented time in our country. And as we continue to monitor the COVID-19 emergency, we've experienced a large influx of clients expressing their interest in telehealth. Our goal today is to demonstrate how to best leverage our telehealth solution in your practice by using TalkEHR. Now, there are several topics that we'll cover to help you better understand our Talk EHR telehealth solution, including how to set it up for your practice, but as well as taking advantage of all of the telehealth features included. As Christy mentioned, at the end of the webinar, we will answer any questions asked, and if there are any questions that we didn't get to, at the end, we'll provide you with a contact information so that you can send us your questions directly, and then one of our team members will reach out to you directly. So first, we'd like to talk about the current key issues. As I mentioned before, the COVID-19 pandemic has reached epic worldwide proportions. As a nation, we are social distancing and facing mandatory quarantine in some cases. With that being said, we know that providers need secure and effective methods to treat patients without risking exposure to themselves or patients or others that are in the office. We also know that patients need a way to conveniently access their providers as health issues arise and as well as monitoring ongoing health issues. At MTBC, we have Talk EHR Telehealth, which provides a HIPAA compliant way for providers to seamlessly and securely connect with patients via audio video com communications. At this time, I'd like to turn the floor over to Al Nardi, our Vice President of Strategic Initiatives, to walk you through on how to start using Talk EHR Telehealth. Al? Thank you. For Setting up Talk EHR Telehealth for your practice is a very simple process. First, log into your Talk EHR account or go to talkehr.com to create an account with your NPI number. Next, you want to invite your patients to use the Talk PHR portal or phone app. You can invite patients individually, set the system to invite any new patient you add, or invite all existing patients at once through a Talk EHR support request. Once a patient has set up their Talk PHR account, 
you can set up a telehealth appointment with them through Talk EHR, or the patient can request one through the portal or app for your available time slots. Now that the telehealth visit is scheduled, you can click on the green phone icon next to the appointment to initiate the call. We do advise that you make a test call with a team member first to ensure telehealth visits properly function in your environment. Since we built telehealth to integrate seamlessly with Talk EHR, there are some key benefits we have over standalone systems. You can use patient scheduler to schedule and monitor your telehealth visits. While in the patient record, the telehealth window can be docked to the side to allow you to chart in real time while in the session. We also have an audit trail reporting for all telehealth calls that include time, duration, and other important metrics. Now we have a demonstration set up for you. At this point, we'd like to show you the demo of these features. Welcome to our webinar, Talk EHR Telehealth, a training deep dive for Talk EHR clients implementing and using telehealth in your practice. Talk EHR includes a real-time HIPAA compliant video consultation capability that allows you to connect to your patient directly through their smartphones or desktop computers. By utilizing the telehealth capabilities in Talk EHR, you can remotely evaluate your patients, helping to reduce the risk of COVID-19 transmission and provide care high-risk patient populations. This is not a brand new product in response to the crisis. Our telehealth module went live last year. However, you're getting an increased calls on using it. Note, if you're on another system, that's fine too. The Talk EHR telehealth system can be used as a standalone system, so long as you understand how to invite and connect with patients. Although you can use third-party systems to connect to patients, we encourage providers to use our MU3 certified system because it's HIPAA compliant, allows charting during video encounters, and creates an auditable report of all telehealth encounters. These webinar series will cover how to set up telehealth within Talk EHR, invite individuals or all patients at once, how to initiate a call and document an encounter, generating a claim for reimbursement, and best practices for utilizing telehealth within your practice. First, let's discuss the setup. Talk EHR has a telehealth module built into your schedule. In order to activate it, you simply need to request our telehealth addendum or accept it online so we can activate your patient portal. Next, let's discuss how you can invite patients. I will go to a patient here and show you where the invite button is. Once you've invited them by using their email and cell phone number, then they must open our free Talk PHR app and activate their account. On our Talk PHR page, we have a video that explains to the patient how easy it is to install and set up. It's a relatively easy process, one, two, three. Install, sign up, register. When you get an invite from your doctor, an email or SMS text on your phone, click the hyperlink to create a free Talk PHR account. Then click install when asked to install the Talk PHR app. It is very important if asked, allow access to camera, microphone and notifications on. Step two, sign up. Username and temporary PIN code should pre-fill. Just click on the sign up button, change your password, and click remember when prompted. Step three, register. Fill in required information, then click register. If prompted, submit insurance and credit card information. When your dashboard screen shows, you're ready to schedule your doctor to patient video telemedicine encounters on your phone. If they need more help, they can contact Talk PHR Telemedicine Support. Once they're activated, you'll see that indication here and in the scheduler when you search for them and see the green phone icon next to their name. 
Next, let's also review how to invite all patients and have any new patient you add be automatically invited. You're gonna to go to settings, patient portal. This option at the top, automatically invite patients to patient portal has to be turned on. Then if you import a list of patients or you add a new patient, that patient's going to automatically get the invite just in the same manner that you saw in that video on the talk PHR site. If you wanna import patients to give them all invites at the same time, as long as this has been turned on, you go back to settings, and go to import patient. Here we have instructions and an example of the file you need. It has to be a spreadsheet format in Excel. You can download the sample and let's take a look at that. It gives you all the headers, first name, last name, date of birth, sex, zip, address. Home phone and work phone are not necessary. However, cell phone and email are critical. You have to have a cell phone or an email address in there in order for them to get the invite to then activate the top PHR app. Once you have your list ready and it's in this format, one row per patient with headers, maximum 1000 patients per import, you can select the file to upload. It'll scan the files and look for valid records. I got two valid records on that list, no invalid records. Now I'm ready to import. Data imported successfully. Now all of those patients that I just imported will get their invite and can activate their apps. Now I'd like to show you how to schedule a call, start the telehealth encounter and chart. So I'm gonna go back to schedule and I'm gonna add an appointment. I'm gonna search for Steven Cameron. Steven's already activated his Talk PHR account, so I see the green phone icon right on the scheduler next to his name. I'm gonna put in appointment reason, it could be anything, I'll put in acute pain. I'm gonna put duration 15 minutes. I'm gonna select telehealth appointment and you have to check that box. That's what allows the scheduler to dial up the patient in the app. If there's no insurance or credit card on file, it's gonna prompt you, do you wanna add it for that patient? Or you can say no and schedule anyway. Otherwise, you could pick add insurance or add credit card to the file. And I'm going to put this for stay at 12 p.m. Now I've added Steven to the scheduler and can see that he's got an online status after his activated invite on talk. PHR. Once you want to start the encounter, all you have to do is click this icon and it's going to automatically dial the patient. Again, it'll ask you if there's no credit card or insurance on file. Do you still want to go forward? Yes, I'm going to call anyway. It's going to ask me if I want to test my audio or video devices. I'm going to say no because I've tested them several times today. Now it's dialing Steven. Hi, Steven. Hey, Al. How are you? Good. How are you? Not so bad. I'm feeling anxiety and a headache. Okay. So now I want to start charting while I'm talking to Steven. So I'm going to dock the telemedicine encounter view, and I'm going to open Steven's chart right from there on the scheduler. It'll open up to the summary for Steven. And then I'm going to go into encounters and start a new encounter for him. So I'm going to go to chief complaint. Telehealth encounter. Patient complains of fakes and anxiety. I'm gonna save that. I'm going to go down and go to my procedures. And I'm gonna add an office outpatient visit, 99213, and save. And I'm gonna see previous diagnosis are already there, headache and generalized anxiety disorder. Steven, the headaches are your primary complaint. 
Yes. Yes, it is. So I'm going to mark that. And this has been ongoing, Chronic? Yes, it has been ongoing. Okay. I'm going to save that. All right. And now, before we get to the next section where I can sign the encounter and claim, I thank Stephen for taking the time to meet with me on telehealth and uh, hope that you feel better. And I'll be checking back with you in the next day or so. Thank you, Al. I really appreciate it. Once I close the video, there's a setting to automatically prompt you if you want to create a claim for a telehealth session. I'm going to click yes. There's already a claim set up for today that was sent from a previous encounter. This is pulling the same information off the primary diagnosis, headache and generalized anxiety disorder. I'm going to change the place of service to O2 for telehealth. I'm going to add my pointers to the office visit. And then I'm going to save my claim. Attending physician has to be completed. Billing physician has to be completed. Claim was already created. Do you want to create another claim? OK. Now my claim has been sent. Lastly, I want to show you the telehealth encounter reports, which is what tracks your audit trail. So underneath reports, it's the telemedicine call logs right here at the bottom of practice management. Click on that. And we don't store video, but we've got every call that you're making to be able to have an auditable trail. So information from the scheduler, the patient name, the appointment date and time, the status, the reason, duration on the scheduler, call type, and the duration of the call. Note, the duration appointment is default for what's on the scheduler. So that's a 15 minute appointment, but it tells you the call was logged for only four minutes and 51 seconds. You could also pull it up by searching individual patients. I'm gonna search myself for month to date. There's all the telehealth encounters that I have stored with Dr. Jones calling me as a patient and call times. Thank you for taking the time to watch our webinar today. We have an FAQ that's going up on our provider training page. If you have any questions about setup or service, please email us at telehealthrequests at mtvc.com. We can also forward any coding and reimbursement questions to our coding and billing teams. Thank you for your time and consideration. Great. Thank you all. Uh, we hope that you all enjoy that demo and were able to learn some useful information from that. With the demo, we wanted to give everyone a few takeaways that we believe that are key. The first being that our telehealth solution is fully integrated into Talk EHR and is fully HIPAA compliant. The other is the ease of setting up telehealth for your practice. With it being integrated into Talk EHR, you can be set up to do telehealth within 30 minutes. You have the ability to invite your patients through the, to the portal or the phone app through Talk EHR. With Talk EHR integrated, you have the ability to schedule your patients for the telehealth visits as well as chart in the patient record simultaneously while speaking to the patient. Lastly, you also have the ability to generate claims for, this, for telehealth services through Talk EHR immediately after the call is finished. This allows you to finish the claim as well as submit it right at the same time. The subscription fee for telehealth is $49 per provider per month. We believe that telehealth is an essential function given our current times. If you're interested in starting our telehealth services today, please email us at telehealthrequests at mtbc.com or call us at 844-482-5563. We're here to help with, especially in the time of need, and we would like to ensure our providers are still able to see their patients effectively and securely.
At this time, we'll move on to any questions. Okay, Shruti, did you want me to um, read some of the questions here? Yes, please. Um, okay, so let's see the first question. Can I import my patient list into Talk EHR? I can answer that, Shruti. So that you can see from the demonstration, there's a tab under settings to select import patients. That's where I was giving the example of using the Excel spreadsheet with a maximum of 1,000 patients per upload. As long as it's in that format, you can import the patients. And I highly suggest turning on the automatic invite first, which is the way I did it on the demonstration, so that whoever you upload gets an invite and you don't have to individually invite each of those patients one at a time. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Al. Uh, let's see, next question. What are some of the features that come with telehealth? So it's, it's integrated ahead, with HR. Thank you, Shruti. Um, our robust EHR system with charting functionality while on the telehealth call. I tried to show that through the demo by docking it to the left so that you didn't have to um, move the actual video screen around. It would stay in one position while you could go through the chart, adding a diagnosis, CPT code, and the other notes. Um, it's also a complete telehealth log, which that's why I showed the report because there's a lot of third-party systems that allow you to connect to patients but there's no audit trail to match with those encounters and those claims if a payer is requesting that. With ours, it's not only HIPAA secure, but it's got an audit trail log uh, in the background so that you always have the access to that information when it's asked. Okay, great. Let's see, next question. How can we take payment for the calls? So you can store credit cards or patient insurance for each call. You must connect your merchant account to authorize.net to process payments through Talk EHR. This will allow you to process co-pays and self-pays for self-paid patients. Okay, great. Let's see, next question. Are there any specific codes for a telehealth call? Yes, so our account managers and support team can get uh, resources to providers to help them document for coding. Um, there's quite a long list that we're putting up on the FAQ. And then if there's any specific questions uh, on coding or reimbursement, we, uh, we ask that the providers email us at telehealth requests so that we can give that to the appropriate coding person. And just piggybacking off of what Al said, with regulations becoming a little more lenient in the wake of COVID-19, we're closely monitoring uh, Medicare, Medicaid, as well as all commercial payers. If there are new updates um, from a coding and billing aspect, uh, we hope to put on a webinar, an additional webinar for our providers, kind of walking them through the billing, coding, and reimbursement guidelines in the near future as well. Okay, great. Uh, let's let's address a couple more here. Let's see the next question. What is the login number and transaction number when trying to set up a telemedicine appointment? There shouldn't be a login number or transaction number if it's being added to the scheduler. If you looked at the, the demonstration video, you're searching for an existing patient and putting them on and selecting the time and selecting the telehealth um, checkbox to make sure that the appointment could be dialed from the scheduler. But you shouldn't have to put any other transaction or number into that, into that format for adding an appointment. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's take one or two more. Let's see the next one. When the patient gets the call, does it just ring their smartphone like a regular FaceTime call or do they have to be logged into Talk PHR to get the call? It's a good question. They actually do have to be logged on Talk PHR. Once they log on, even if they you know, go back to their home screen or open another app, so long as that was logged in, the call will ring and they'll see the call coming through just like a FaceTime call where they have to select the green button to accept. Okay. 
Mm, let's see. Sorry, I'm just reading through. Let's take one more. Um, I do not see any billing tab as shown in the demo. Okay, so when you when you've started the telehealth encounter, you have to click on that patient's name in order to start charting or to start a new encounter actually. And then once you're done with that encounter, there's a setting in Talk EHR that will prompt you to automatically create a claim. And it happens two ways. One way is you sign the encounter to signify that you're done charting, or if you close the telehealth video to disconnect with the patient, there's also a setting that'll prompt you, do you wanna create a telehealth claim for that call? So whether you're just having the call and not charting, or whether you're charting. When you close that video window, you should get that prompt. When you close the encounter by signing it, you should get that prompt. And that's what creates the claim for you to then complete it. Okay, great. All right, thank you so much Ruti and Al for that presentation, that was great. Thank you everyone for attending today's webinar. Just keep in mind additional questions will be addressed individually after the webinar. So if we didn't get to your question, you will get your question answered. Feel free to contact us at the link shown on your screen here, or you can call 844-482-5563. Thank you everyone for attending today and have a great rest of the day.